Overnight shipping is an absolute masterpiece of logistics that happens every single night. It may not be cheap, but you can get a package shipped from Miami, Florida on a Monday to Anchorage, Alaska by 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday. In fact, you can even ship a package, for example, from Edinburgh, Scotland on a Tuesday and have the package arrive in Anchorage, Alaska by 9 a.m. on Wednesday. The speed and efficiency of these worldwide delivery networks is mind-blowing, and it all happens while we sleep. The three major consumer courier companies are FedEx, DHL, and UPS, and each of them is as impressive as the last. FedEx has more planes than Emirates, Etihad, and Qatar Airways combined, DHL delivers to every country in the world including North Korea, and UPS flies to more than double as many destinations as the largest passenger airline. Each has a global network that allows for lightning fast shipping at relatively low prices. Behind all this speed are enormous air networks that connect the entire world daily. Each of these three operates hundreds of flights nightly, but FedEx is the best example since their operations make them the largest cargo airline in the world. They have 650 planes flying to 400 destinations carrying 6 million packages every single day, and the vast majority of these flights operate to or from one of their hub airports. FedEx's hub airports are spread out all across the world and serve as sorting points where packages are transferred from one plane to another. They have hubs in Singapore, Guangzhou, Shanghai, Seoul, Osaka, Anchorage, Oakland, Dallas, Indianapolis, Greensboro, Miami, Newark, Toronto, Paris, Cologne, Milan, and Dubai. But the most important hub of all is the one in Memphis, Tennessee, because that's their super hub. Memphis is not a huge city. Only about 650,000 people live there. But the reason FedEx centers their worldwide operations in this city is because of its location. Memphis is not actually in the geographic center of the US, as might make sense, but it is central. You see, only about 200 miles away in Wright County, Missouri is the mean population center of the US. This is the average location of every resident in the US, meaning that the FedEx Super Hub in Memphis is the best location to reach the most people in the shortest amount of time. FedEx's operations in Memphis, meanwhile, make this airport the second busiest cargo airport in the world, above those of enormous cities like Tokyo, Paris, Dubai, Shanghai, and falling short only to Hong Kong. How the FedEx Super Hub really works is that every night, about 150 planes fly in from all around the world between the hours of 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. Immediately upon arrival, the planes are unloaded and their packages are put into the hub's automated sorting system. Within only 15 minutes, each package arrives at a staging area for its next flight where it's loaded into containers. Planes therefore can start taking off again at 2 a.m. and continue to until 4 a.m., which means that everywhere in the U.S. can have a FedEx plane arriving by 6 a.m. Packages are transferred from planes to smaller planes to trucks to reach their destination as fast as possible. Now, it's important to note that not every FedEx package runs through Memphis. That would be incredibly inefficient if a customer wanted to, for example, ship a package from Phoenix, Arizona to Seattle, Washington. While only 1,100 miles separate Seattle from Phoenix, a routing through Memphis would total over 3,000 miles and six hours in flight. The package would still make it overnight, but FedEx would be wasting fuel carrying that package an extra 1,900 miles, so that's why they have secondary hubs. In this case, FedEx's Oakland hub has flights to both Phoenix and Seattle, so the package would take a relatively efficient 1,300-mile routing. Memphis essentially serves as the backup hub in case there's not a more efficient routing. The secondary hubs, such as Oakland, in general have flights to destinations that are already served by flights to Memphis, but the destinations from Oakland are high-demand destinations that ship enough packages solely to the West Coast to fill entire planes to Oakland. FedEx, UPS, and DHL meanwhile, are continuously focusing on further increasing the efficiency of their networks, since in this business more than any, time is money.